Anna, we still haven't solved the problem about what she's going to wear. Tony, that is your problem. Well, perhaps you can help me with my problem. Well, I suppose you could take her shopping. Unless, of course, you don't want to um, <clears throat> get too embarrassed by watching her romp barefoot through Mason Buttery's department store. <laughs> I, I don't find that amusing. I know, I'm sorry, you're right. <clears throat> Well, you have to admit, it'd be pretty funny if she was swinging from one of their chandeliers in there. Anna! I'm sorry, don't. You know, that would be so wonderful. It would make such a fuss in that stuffy old place. I'd love to see that myself. When do you think you... Anna, that's enough! If you don't take what I'm asking you seriously, then forget about it. Oh! Tony, please, listen. Okay, I'm sorry. No. You just take your dresses. Jasmine and I will take care of things. No, really, I, I, I am sorry. Uh, <clears throat> no. What can I... What can I... Tony, what can I do to make it up to you? Nothing. Nothing. Everything's fine. Well, I suppose I could take her shopping. You will? Yes, I will. As a matter of fact, I could take her right at this moment. Come on, dear. Why don't I take you shopping down to the mall and buy some very suitable things? The mall? Mm -hmm. What is a mall? A mall is a place where people just like you love to shop, dear. <laughs> I don't think it would be much better if you took her to some lovely boutique on Chaparral Drive. Well, I'm sure a pet store would probably be better, but... What? I said, do you want me to do this or don't you? You know I have exquisite taste. Yes, yes, well, I am rather busy today. Well, then leave everything to me. Now come along, Buttercup. Why don't we find something for you to wear shopping? Uh, I know this hurts. I appreciate your help. But her name is Jasmine. Thank <laughs> you.